G'day trendsetters, it's a beautiful sunny winter's day here in Toowoomba in my veggie garden and today I want to divide this strawberry and put it into this planter. So I've got a few jobs to do. First I've got to tidy this bloke up. This is unfortunately I can't tell you the variety of this strawberry. It's a strawberry that I grew from a runner from strawberries at work and it's a nice little producer, nice little strawberries and it didn't produce any runners this year. But it's been in this pot for, I don't know, maybe four, maybe five years. And you can divide strawberries, and that's what I'm gonna do. But first things first, I've also got this planter that I haven't used since last spring. Uh, it's just been sitting around, so I thought the divisions I get out of here will be nice to put into here. And if I've got too many, I can still put a few back into this pot. So that's today's job and this will be the first. I will take these weeds out. I've got some premium potting mix. I, will, I won't completely empty it. I'll probably half empty it of the old compost, the old potting mix, and put the new potting mix just in the top half. I'll also probably get a little bit of the composted pelletized chicken manure and work that into that bottom half that I keep and then just put the premium on top. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. I've got two little polyanthers left in there from last year. That's what I planted in it last year. So I'll just lift them out and then I'll take the rest of that fertilizer out. And this is my Hori Hori knife from Shogun Tools in Brisbane. Link in the description below. Just great for this sort of work. There we go. That will go into a pot when I'm finished here. Righto, weeds are out, soil's out, and this is this is just the uh, the neutrog sudden impact for roses, but it's still just a pelletized chicken manure. Uh, two handfuls. I think will do me. This is just in the older mix. Work it through a little bit. Open it up, let a bit of air through. The strawberries don't have a big root system, but they will still get down into there. And by the time they do, that'll be fairly well incorporated into that soil and they can make use of the fertilizer. Right, now, Premium potting mix. This is just an Osmocote. Doesn't matter what brand you use, as long as it's a good premium brand. Six months, six months feeding, wetting agent, growth stimulants, trace elements. It's got if you look here, you've got the uh, certified. If you look here, this is in Australia, of course, you've got the, the red badge with the five ticks, certified Australian. Red, there's two, there's a red one and a black one. The red one means it's got added fertilizer. Black one means there's no added fertilizer. So, chip him in. Okay, so that's ready to go. Now, put you down there for a minute. The strawberry, I'll just tip the whole lot out. Just tidy up a bit of this hole around the side and I can get some of those 
I don't need these older, bigger leaves. There's new growth setting coming through from the middle of the crown of the plant, so I don't need the older leaves for now. And it'll also help with the, the transplant shock because I'm going to start cutting and chopping roots and everything, so we can get rid of them. Okay, now I've got to find the individual plant. So there's one off to the side there. There's a root system already developed on that one. Where's my hoary hoary and I buried it. It's got this serrated edge on it. So I'm going to use that for now, right down there. There we go. And just slice. And that is my strawberry plant. I'm not sure if I mentioned, it's still uh, early-ish winter here, uh, which is an okay time. If you're in a warmer climate, you can do it earlier because you, you probably get strawberries in late Winter, if you're in a colder climate, then later, closer to spring. But warm temperate here in Toowoomba, it's fine now. Could have done it, you know, it's only three or four weeks ago, so it's not a big deal. I'm just gonna use my secateurs on that one. So there's another little strawberry plant. Same in this one. Look at that. Ah, strawberries galore. Around the side here, just keep working your way around. Well, that's a good one. I'll keep the two, that won't matter. There you go, that's a, it's got a good root system there. I'll leave the rest of that. I will divide that up and put that back into that 30 mil pot. But for now, I just want to get these guys in the ground. There's nothing more to it than replanting back into here. You've got the crown of the strawberry, so we don't want to go deep in that, but we've got a root system just to here, and that's the depth I will plant to. Be more than enough. Don't want to leave these out in the air too long. So once you've divided them up and cut them up, get them into your potting mix as quickly as possible. If you can't, then you might want just a bucket of water that you can throw them in. Keep the roots moist. You don't want the roots to dry out because they won't be too much. Root uh, transplant shock is the word I'm looking for. There's nothing to it really after you've done that. Just spacing about six inches apart, I suppose. And lucky last. It's a bit of that old dead, that's all sort of dead root there. I might just prune that off. Don't want that. That's all I want, that part that's actually growing active roots there. There you go, Bob Girani, job done. Give it a good water, find a nice sunny spot for it somewhere, keep it moist. Just watering, I won't, once I start fruiting, I'll start adding uh, organic liquid fertilizer. Hell feed's the one I use here, but whatever you can find, you know, it'll, doesn't have to be organic, but I prefer organic liquid fertilizer. Once they start fruit, well, probably once they start flowering, because then they will set fruit straight after flowering, which should be oh, towards the end of July for me. I don't think there's anything else I need to say. If, if you've got any questions about what I've just done, please feel free to leave a, a question in the comments below. 
Otherwise, thanks for watching. Cheers. I'll see you in the next video and bye for now.